guys, it's Misty, and I just wanted to share with you my Halloween card for the Halloween card swap over at CCL. And this was really, really fun to make, and I don't make a lot of cards, but I'm definitely going to get more into it. And um, I, I already, I'm going to make one for you guys, and I'm going to put one together, and I'm just going to um, let you have some details before I start putting it together. And um, I just used um, just plain um, craft cardstock for the base of the card. And then for the um, black cardstock is actually the black basic board that you can get at Joann's. And then the designer paper is from the new DCWV stack, um, the Halloween and Fall stack. It's a value stack that you get at Joann's. And it has, um, it's, it has tons of designer paper. And it's not cardstock like the premium packs. It's actually just regular designer paper. And the... It looks like this. You can sort of see it. Uh, sorry, but it's um, it has just a ton, and it comes with 180 sheets. So I used um, that designer pack for the background paper here, and also for this background paper here. And I used the the um, the same background paper for right underneath um, one of the layers for the real sentiment. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this card, this is what the inside looks like, so you guys can see. I'm going to go ahead and put that together and I'm going to show you everything I used as I'm putting it together. Okay, so, um, so I went ahead and I already cut out the A2 size card and here's the black paper, or the black card stock just on the back side. Nothing in this, um, that part. And then here's the designer paper. I already distressed it and then I stamped this image. This is just from a really nice Halloween stamp set and I have, guys, I have no idea um, who it's made by as I don't have the, the actual packaging for it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use my ATG gun and I'm going to just apply some... Smiling face, hold it tight as we watch the sunset fade. Sneaking ahead, when the gates on Saturdays. You'll go on to find your place. Oh, oh, oh.
I'll sing to you just one more time I recite to you just one more line Mix their screens, I'll motorcycle drive by Plus these stars seat upon your ceiling Shout out loud, tell me what you're feeling Fall asleep early Okay, there you go guys. Um, that's almost everything, so now I'm going to just show you um, I'm gonna let those dry just a tad. They don't take long to dry, and then you just flip up just with your nail, just puff up the little wings right there. And then to distress the edges, it's really, really simple. I'm actually going to go ahead and zoom, or I'm going to zoom in for you. And then so, all you have to do, it's very easy, you just take your nail, and there's, that's, that's just the technique. There's really nothing more to it than, than and that. It's better when you're adhering the paper down that you get the adhesive as close to that edge as possible, so if you're doing this process, it, you won't get um, big chunks that flip over. Um, if if you have gaps in your adhesive and they're not like to the edge and whatever that gap is when you do this process all that paper that's not adhered down is going to come up so I would m definitely make sure and then that way you just get a little distressed thing so like there's this. There's the card and then there's the inside. It's a pretty simple card. So I, could be, I hope you guys enjoyed that and thanks so much for watching. Happy scrapping. Bye.